let's talk about user authentication. Anytime you use a piece of software or a website that where you have a username and a password, you want to make sure that you are secure. You don't want someone else signing in as you, and you don't want someone else messing with your data. So you have to have some way to authenticate them. Usually this is done on the server. PHP, which is something we use a lot, has something called a session super global variable, and you can store usernames there fairly securely. There are ways around it, but for the most part, you don't have to worry too much about it. But what about you have an application that is on the front end, so it uses JavaScript? You have access to something called cookies. I'm sure you've heard about them, and I'm not talking about the delicious things I have in my bag over there that I'm gonna eat in about 20 minutes. We're talking about little breadcrumbs that the browser leaves to let you know where you are kind of thing. It's a lot more to it than cookies than that, but that's what we're gonna call it. You can't store a whole lot of information in cookies, at least for validation purposes, because they can be easily changed by anyone who can spell the word cookie, pretty much. All it takes is a little bit of time on the, on the internet, and you can find out how to hack and change cookies, using the word hack very liberally. And there you go. So using it for authentication isn't really a good idea. Enter JSON Web Tokens. It stands for JSON, which is another acronym, JavaScript Object Notation Web Token. I don't know why I said Web Token are you there, because it's already there. Anyways, JSON Web Tokens are a way to have the same information stored, which can be easily undone, by the way. So you don't want to store passwords in there. But storing username, even though someone can access that username, they will break it if they try and change it. The way it works, you send the information, username and password, to a server. The server is going to check it, make sure everything matches, and if it does, it's going to send, send back a signed JSON web token. In this signature is gonna have the payload, which is usually going to be a username, maybe a user ID, and some other information that you really wanna make sure it's nothing you don't mind getting out to the public but it's also gonna be, uh, what's the word I am looking for? It's gonna be hashed using a key that is stored on the server. So even if they can use the JSON web token that they can get from the cookie, you know, to unhash it and get the username and the password and have that information, they still can actually do anything with it because they don't have the secret key. You're still safe. And that is a tutorial on JSON Spartax Star Lord. That is about JSON web tokens. <laughs>